Hi there, this is uh, another video from uh, myself, Anthony Geerts, and in this video I want to show you how to actually um, install and compile a um, cryptocurrency using Linux. So uh, I'm using Ubuntu and I just picked one which is a recent one from yesterday which is called Insanity Coin. It's probably another crap coin but anyway compiling this coin or any other coin is very similar. So first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our uh, Linux session. So I'm using put putty and just opening up the shell. So in this case this is my Linux shell, you know, I can type in a lot of stuff, I have some stuff running. So, this is my Linux shell, and first of all what I want to do is I want to go to my uh, user source folder. So what I do is cd user source. So this is the folder where I'm going to download all my source files. And um, what you do need is uh, git installed on your um, system. So what you can do is opt get install it and then it will look and install it well in this case it's already installed so it won't install anything so after this installed you can actually clone the um, altcoin infra installation files using the following command git clone and then the path where the, the coin is located so in this case in this forum post at the bottom I have all my links and I see here the github link so I'm opening that and then this is the link that you need to copy in your Linux. So going back, GitHub clone and then I just drop this one in there. So what it does now is it's actually cloning uh, the in installation files onto my Linux installation. And as well, um, well it's pretty quick. So while that is done, we can go into the folder that it created which is called Insanity coin. I'm gonna do ls to just see what what's in there. Now you can see there's a Linux folder and there's a source folder. So in this case, I want to build from scratch using the source folder. So I'm just gonna go cd source. And then of course, with every installation on Linux, there are dependencies, right? So because this server is already pretty well built, um, I'm gonna actually. Um, I'm going to actually show you the documentation which will have a reference to all the installations that you need to do. So in the GitHub, you go to the doc folder, and then there you see the build, and you just uh, select build Unix. Okay, so it will give you the entire explanation and it will tell you which dependencies. So, dependency build instruction, so just follow this one by copying all these items over and executing them. Right? So when the dependencies are installed you can start building your make file. So you can do this by pressing typing in make minus f make file dot unix and then executing it. So what this does is actually gonna build an insanity coin daemon from scratch. So this can actually take a while so what I'll do is I'll uh, pause the video until this is completed. It's completed, so we can actually execute already the file. So what I can do is dot forward slash and then the name of the coin. So in this case, it's the insanity coin, and it gives us an error. Why? Because there's no configuration file set. So it says to use insanity coin, you must set a RPC password in the configuration file, and of course, the configuration file is by default located here in your username, and then the subfolder. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna select the path, I'm gonna type in vi and then enter. So now I can create a new file. So insert typing app um, i and then there are some default settings here. Um, so RPC user is test, RPC password is test two save the file so uh, I use Vi but a lot of people might not know how to use it so you can always use nano or vim if that's easier for you in terms of editing a file right, so this type of text editor 
So now we created the configuration file and we're going to start try try to start the application again. So in this case, I don't see any error. It's just loading there. So what I want to do is I want to actually load it as a, a dedicated server. So I'm going to break this off, Control C, and I'm going to add in a forward slash daemon command. So now it actually says the sanity coin server is starting, and that server is now up and running. So what I can do now is actually check the status. So again, dot forward slash insanity coin d and then I'm gonna type in get info so get info will tell me that I'm connected well there's zero connections at the moment and this is the current difficulty but when the connections start kicking in it will actually start syncing and then we can see what the real difficulty is so it can take a couple of minutes for it to connect and if it doesn't connect you might have to add in a uh, port number so in this case I have a port 55445 so I'm just going to update my config file first of all I'm going to stop the service so um, insanity coin D stop which stops the service and I'm going to go to my config file again and I'm going to add in an RPC port which is 55445 Save it. I'm gonna try it again by starting it as a daemon. Make sure that you put in the dash, and then let's see if it gets some connections in. So normally the altcoins will have their own um, configuration examples. I'll see if I can find one here. Logo box exchange. Good. Yeah, this is a pretty dodgy coin, I think, because it doesn't have much information at all. Maybe in their GitHub. So, setup. Here we go. Next build notes, release notes. Let's see, the wiki doesn't exist. Okay, so there's quite a lot of crap coins around, and I think this is one of them. Readme install. Readme. Just the setup. Hmm. Let's have a look. Maybe we got some connections in yet. Ah, here we go. So there are some connections coming in. So I see I have one connection now. And it's, it starts syncing with the blocks as well. So one eighteen twelve, two connections. Okay, so this one is running. So now if I want to do some mining, which is you know possible, I can use the built-in miner. I'm not sure if this coin allows for solo mining, but I'm gonna try anyway. So again I'm gonna open my configuration file, which is here and then I'm gonna go add in the following. So first I'm gonna say gen proc equals minus one. That's the processor limit, so I wanna use it on full power. And I'm gonna say server is one, so at least I don't have to put in the daemon switch all the time. And then I can say generate is one. So generate means that you start uh, mining. And you can see the difference because if I look at my current processing usage, I don't see any. I see the Insanity Wolf here with 1% CPU. So now. What the hell is whoopsie? Okay. Now I'll stop the server. And, and then start it again. Now it take, always takes a little while. Let's look at info first. Okay, so it's back up and running. Now let's look at my processing power. So 
So at the moment, you can see the CPU is climbing up. So it's 68, 200%, and that's the max that it can do. So now all of a sudden my CPU usage is increased because this uh, altcoin is actually mining. Right? But you can also see within your get mining info to see how many hashes it's actually mining. So we can see the hash rate per second is 3500 which is for a script it's actually extremely low so I won't get anything out of it but it's a, it's a good example to see how it works if you're mining CPU only it's recommended to just use um, um, use a coin that is designed for CPU mining whereas this coin is designed for script mining which would need a, a, a powerful graphics card so hopefully this makes sense and this approach you can use for any other coin just use the, the github installation and then just build from source hope you liked the video thanks